too blog or not to blog or not to blog that is the question so what is the advantage of having a blog or a website when it comes to being an internet journalist I guess it kind of depends on where you're going because in cer certain circles well well, a blog. A blog is, is read advantageous. because it is it is read every time you put something up versus a website that may be crawled once a month. Ah, did you get that? So if you're doing, say that again. A blog is a blog. It instantaneously is hit on the net, is crawled by their spiders, and a website may only be crawled once a month. Which means if you're looking for internet positions, you want a blog. That's right. But when you're doing internet journalism sometimes when you come in as a blog it's they don't take yeah but they also don't take you serious that's right because it's a blog right now here's the funny part is if you look on a lot of the different websites I mean I think Bill O'Reilly has a blog Does every 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 has news agency has blogs for the uh, for their for their news business and individual reporters all have blogs right but the funny part is, is that if you go to oh maybe it's because you have a big website and then you have a blog as a subpart of the website. But if you go in as a blog, they don't take you as seriously. No. But then there's some times where we've gone um, to cover things where if we had been a blog, they were looking for bloggers who might have been able to get in. Right. So we do <laughs> we, we, we do have a blog. Actually, this past week we restarted the blog again. Well, and it was for a specific purpose because it was for an event, Comedy Central's Roast of Bob Saget, yep. that did have a category for live blogging. So. Well, we found that it works best to have a website and a blog when And necessary. probably a video video blog, too, works now if you're in the news business. That's sort of why we're, we're attached with um, YouTube and Google and all these other systems, because you're, you know, we can use their systems to put up things quicker than we can on our own. Yep. And an advantage of being on the Internet and doing journalism is not only do you, well, there's advantages and disadvantages, but one of the main advantages of being on the internet is you can use video, you can use photos, and you can use print. Audio, too. And audio. So you basically can encompass the various forms of medium. Right. But the one thing that's common to all of them is you have to use the internet. And the internet's the problem. And that's, yep. And that's probably what the biggest challenge because just like the print, like the LA Times, has control over, well, hopefully, their presses. And then their distribution, they have their distribution set up, which that's I right. suppose is fairly reliable, right? And that's right. Well, okay, because it's been set up for a century. And broadcast? Broadcasters own the transmitters that they broadcast out on. Ah, so they don't depend on somebody else, but they depend on their own people. Radio? Basically owns the transmitters they broadcast on. So you hear that? Everybody's owning their own. And the magazines basically either own or lease the presses that they are so, created on. So all of them have a little bit more control than does the internet because when you work with the internet you're depending on They're your provider. Yep. And it is cost prohibitive for most people on the internet to be their own provider. Because you just can't have one system, you have to have multiple systems. You have to have an entire mirror site on the internet. You know, I mean, we do have one section where we do have our own dedicated server. We, that is our backup, though, is our own dedicated server. But it also costs money. I mean, okay, we, we also, we, the Internet does not have a constant speed on download or upload, whereas television and uh, radio both have constant. We don't. And if you've tried to in, watch any programs with streaming video, supposedly live on the Internet, you'll see some of the challenges that face you. Yeah, well, streaming video is not always streaming video either. It, it all depends, once again, on how fast your provider is, not how fast the people that are sending it are. Well, and as an example, we were watching Pirates of the Cap Caribbean, the world premiere from Disneyland. Yeah. Old Cam was watching from one location. I'm watching from a different location. We both have the cable, same cable net internet provider, but we're in two different locations. Yeah. And so we were watching at the same time, telling and, each and other And getting what we different... Saw different perspectives are the very same thing because one would speed up one would slow down so but it was it, that's how it works I mean okay mine comes off of uh, my internet comes off of a huge router and yours comes off of um, a small router so yep. mine tends to be 
you know, a bigger system and therefore faster than yours. But it also also depends upon the day and evening when you're using the internet. Well, and also the area because maybe you're relying on a different group because it's the the speed is affected by the people in your neighborhood. Where yeah, you how many people are using it? And if too many people are using it, you go down. In fact, if too many people access your website, it it'll goes go down. down. That's right. So all those challenges. I mean, the, the great part about doing journalism over the internet is it's small, it's portable, and you can get it up fast. Yep. The disadvantage is you have to rely on other people. Yeah, but that, that the biggest disadvantage is the reliance on others because I mean, we would like to have our own dedicated server completely across the board but you know the backup would backup is cost prohibitive you wouldn't want to keep it on the backup it's there if we have to switch well and then also if you're on location it's even trickier yeah because you don't know what the situation is in that area because maybe you're you, accustomed to what it is where you are that's right okay but you're not accustomed to it as when you're on location and it's kind of like the facts it's like once they know that you're in that situation, then the expectations are that you can get it up faster. Yeah. Which is not always the case because, like, well, I'm going on a family vacation, and although there is internet available, it's not available. We'll just say it's it, available. It, it, if you want to pay for it, it is very it is uh, it is cost prohibitive because you're it is you know basically they're charging by the minute, and it takes and we slower speeds than what you're accustomed to. Yeah. And they're like dial-up speeds. And you're used to cable, very fast cable speeds. Yep. Well, then it takes time, you know, because you gotta it, upload is really crucial to people doing news on the internet. Upload is horribly crucial, and if you don't have a good upload speed, you can have a download speed that's like a flash. If your upload speed sucks, you can take you an hour to put up a minute piece. So. Ah oh, man, these are the challenges of being an internet journalist. So for now, this is not a spring chick. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow.